Well, the now halted Jakarta Bay Reclamation Project has raised a lot of legal and social issues. Since the project involves the creation of new land, it definitely has an impact to the existing environment. So what are the legal dilemmas faced by this multi-million dollar project in terms of the environmental? We have an expert from the Indonesian Center for Environmental Law to tell us more on the subject. Ryan Dudayev, welcome to our show. Thank you. So uh, the, go the central government has decided to temporarily hold the project, but still uh, we can see uh, the construction uh, is still ongoing. Yeah. So do you think uh, it is the right decision to be taken by our central government? Yeah, we appreciate uh, you know decision of the government to hold uh, that project, but you know, more term is just a uh, political decision, not legal decision. So it can, uh, I mean, yeah, it has to, to be to stop the project. But, um, you know, actually, uh, the Ministry of Environment um, uh, issued the, the min, uh, minist, minist, ministry Material decree. decree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that project has to uh, restudy, you know, um, environmental impact, social impact. And it has to be inclus inc inclusive study, you know. So all the ele element of uh, all the element can involve in that uh, moratorium. Right. Uh, and now let's talk about the uh, environment, uh, the um, environmental impact, because obviously it does have impact on the surrounding environment in Jakarta Bay. Um, constructions have already began, uh, but was there any environmental impact analysis done before the constructions? Yeah, you know. Um, as we know, uh, there's uh, there are a lot of um, um, uh, pollution there in in in, in uh, Jakarta Bay water, mm -hmm. okay. but you know, instead of um, gov uh, Jakarta government revitalize the the environment, uh, the environment of uh, Jakarta Bay, you know, you need to um, restorize mm -hmm. uh, from upstream to downstream, okay. not only just is only in in in, in downstream mm -hmm. so because it can be dangerous you know uh, especially for for the flood right. for our floods mitigation effort uh, uh it is uh it will will it like bring a negative impacts to our annual flood no um reclamation uh, reclamation is just uh, about you know economic reason not um environmental reason Mm. So based on um, research from the, the, you know, from ITB and um, IPB, uh, mm -hmm. oceanographers say that, yeah, it, it can be dangerous for our, our environmental. Right, but uh, the, the Jakarta governor, Ahok, uh, previously he said that this reclamation project can actually stop the, the sinking of Jakarta. Um, that it, it, it helps that, that, that part and it can actually stop flooding. But now people are saying that it actually makes it worse. Can you explain? Yeah, actually, based on yeah, the research, you know, it can stop uh, this, the cir circulation of the water. So, can you imagine um, mm. the circulation of uh, water from the river can can be stuck uh, with 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 the artificial island, mm. you know, and it can be dangerous. Um, you know, water has um, has you know has the ability to circulate. Uh, we call it uh, as natural flushing. Natural flushing has, you know, has uh, has the role to circulate the the, the, the toxic of uh, Jakarta Bay. So, mm. it, we, uh, with reclamation, it can stop the toxic in Jakarta Bay. So, it can be more danger. Right. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is with these islands, um, the the water uh, from from rain and th that that causes the flood it cannot go out from Jakarta because the islands are blocking the water from going out. Is, yeah, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, it can pass to to artificial, but it can stuck. You know, it it needs more time to circulate. Uh, can you imagine that? Yeah, you know, okay. Water yeah. with uh, artificial island. Okay. So, from an environmental law standpoint, what crimes have been committed in this uh, project? Um. Um. Actually, we don't know yet um, the license, espe especially environmental uh, license of uh, mm. island of C and D. Mm. So it against uh, uh, the law, you know, uh, act of 
um, number 20, uh, 32, year uh, 2009, about um, environmental protection and management. So, yeah. So, uh, the developer or the government sh uh, can be punished by that law. Yeah, so what we saw here in the project is the overlapping of regulations and as well as authority. Like, what needs to be done? Yeah, you know, in uh, based on uh, presidential, uh, presidential uh, regulation number uh, 122, um, the authority of the uh, license uh, Real, um, you know, belong to ministry. Mm. Yes. But um, in um, presidential presidential decree in 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 year uh, 1995. Uh, yes. Yeah, the, the authority belong to to governor. Governor. So, mm. yeah, you know, it's it doesn't harmonize between one policy and uh, one policy. So, uh, moratorium mm. should. Uh, also review the the existing uh, regulation, because mm. so, yeah, it, it it doesn't harmonize. Okay. Now I, I heard previously that the Ministry of Environment uh, already made an environmental impact analysis, and they already said that before the constructions began, they already said that um, it's not that, that is that, that it's not good environmentally. But they still went ahead anyway. Like, how did that happen? I know. Uh, actually. Um, um, one of the main reasons why, um, you know, the Ministry of Environment uh, recently uh, refused uh, this project because of we need at least uh, 330 million of uh, sand to build uh, 17 of, of that land, those mm. lands. So, you know, it, it can destroy uh, not only the Jakarta, but also uh, other provinces like Banten and then um, West Java, so yeah, it can be dangerous for our environment. So that's why um, before Minister of Environment mm. refused the project with uh, Minister Decree that that's uh, saying that yeah, it can it's not liable mm. environmental okay. environmentally. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I heard that it will also uh, will impact the border between Jakarta and neighboring provinces like West Java and also Banten. Do you see that coming, this problem, border dispute between these provinces? Yeah, um, that's also a um, uh, mi Ministry of Environment uh, projection before. It, it can, you know, cause the conflict between uh, fishermen and, uh, and the construction. Yeah, and now uh, in Lontar village, there's a conflict between fishermen and, 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 and you know, the, the, the mining process. Yeah, it, that, the one that we just saw yeah, earlier it, in the program. Yeah, yeah it, mm -hmm. it, it, it decreased uh, their income. And, and also, it, yeah, it, we don't know yet, but yeah, uh, environmental impact for, 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 for the mining process. But um, because, I don't know, we need 30, yeah, 330 millions of, Sand. So, can you imagine how how how, uh, how many sand that we need? And also, we need to see the other uh, mining uh, mining uh, activity, like in Lumajang. Yes. Yeah, it mm. it it's totally uh, destroyed, and government uh, at least need uh, three billion to remediate the the environment there mm. because yeah. of mining uh, land. Uh, sand mining activity. Okay. So reclamation is not only happening in Jakarta, but also in several areas in you know Indonesia. Yeah. So, do you see that this is the right momentum for our government to talk about uh, the legislation, the regulation, the comprehensive one? Yeah, I agree with you because um, it's not ha just only happening in Jakarta, but also in. 70 provinces in, in Indonesia, so it's it's like a trend now, uh, oh. land reclamation, why we, we have to reclamate uh, the sea. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, 70,000 of islands, you know, why we why don't we, you know, benefit th those lands? Yes. Mm. Um, and yeah, I don't know why uh, the government and 
the most important thing is um, the government should and the developer should um, you know calculate ecologi uh, ecological uh, costs, mm -hmm. not only economical costs like um, I need to build uh, land reclamation. I need uh, yeah how how much uh, money that I need to to spend with to 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 buy the this the sand, the sand and mm. and etc. But you need to yeah calculate ecological uh, cost like in happening in in Lumajang. Mm. Yeah. So we have seen like a terrible example of land reclamation already in Lumajang. Uh, no, it actually it's not a land oh. reclamation, but it's uh, uh, you know. Oh, the sand is, be, is uh, being taken. Yeah, mining, uh, oh, mining, mining, activity. mining activity. So it's yeah, it's probably like that if we yeah. Okay. And it takes time to remediate the impact. Yeah, of course. Yeah, mm. but I know for mm. how long uh, for the remediation, I don't know yet because uh, my speci specialization is in environmental law. But mm. yes. but yeah, it needs. Uh, that's uh, what I know. It's yeah. It's it, it needs a lot of money. Right. Mm. And how do we enforce uh, these laws, uh, especially maybe the environmental laws? Because it seems like these developers they're not listening uh, to the government and. Even though they stopped it, they still keep on going. So there's no legal enforcement on these laws. How, how do we improve that? So uh, you know, we want the government uh, stop uh, this pro uh, all of the project mm -hmm. completely. Yeah, com completely. No, mm -hmm. um, for right now, for okay. the process, because okay. we are we're going on. Uh, you know, we're on the way in 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 restudy the the the, the impact and from mental impact, social impact, etc. So um, and also needs to you know uh, review the legal legal uh, the regulations. Mm -hmm. So um, until uh, until that you know, government should stop that um, that construction. Yes. But but the developers keep on going anyways. Yeah. So how do we stop them? Yeah, you know it's you know uh, the police has the authority mm. to to stop that you know because okay. it's it, it against the law, but you know. I, I so what is lacked is law enforcement. Yeah, yeah. one of the yeah most problem of the, yeah. of our country is yeah law enforcement. Okay, yeah. thank you so much, Ryan Dudaya, for joining thank us you today. So, so basically, we have to you know think about the regulation first and we study everything before continuing the project or s decided to stop the project. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.